Once again, we're going to be... Wait, Nintendo shit, where are you going? We're going to be chit-chatting about the N64. This is an HDMI budget solution, but is it actually something you should pick up or just invest in something else? That's what we're going to be chit-chatting about today. <laughs> The N64 is not the best console when it comes to the Nintendo part. However, I have really fond memories and I still love a couple of games on this device. So one of the hidden gems for me is going to be the GoldenEye. So one of my favorite games to play when it comes to N64. So going back to this, I can tell you it's not that pleasant due of the overall graphics. And some of the games have even been ported from the PC or other devices. So are they really worth buying an N64? That is of course something you should decide for yourself. But still, there are so many cool games to play, and one of the hidden gems is of course having some snowboard kits. It's a very fun game to play. And if you want to get in a different route, there are even a very cheap like solution out there with massive game collections. Or you can just buy yourself a very nice and fast high quality EverDrive. But this is the AliExpress HDMI Nintendo 64 solution, where this thing is really cheap to buy. You need to do some soldering, so it's not going to be for everyone. So when it comes to this plug and play solution, it only costs $32.90. And depending on where you're living, because sometimes you can ship it for free within 90 days or if it's going to be in a different location. However, there will be a slightly improvement what they're claiming here. We're going to be comparing this later on with something else. But this is a complete kit even with a converter, but you need to do some soldering. So take a note that you're going to be having that problem. So let's take a close look at the audio itself, it's going to be disabled and here you can see a quick look about the soldering and everything. Unfortunately, my menu doesn't work with mine, no idea what is going on, but maybe it's a defect or this is just the version I'm having. But you can actually play all kinds of cool stuff and when it comes to, let's say, having the option to, let's say, buying this, and of course this is not for everyone, so we're going to be setting it to 720p, the maximum output. And let's see if the overall quality is going to be any good when it comes to this product. You need to do assembly getting an N64 and it's always going to be an overall, let's say, experience if you want to do soldering for the first time. But also it's going to be quite challenging because it's possible that you can destroy your N64 console. At the back we're finding a micro USB connection and in here we're going to be plugging it straight into the device. But how is the overall quality and is it actually going to be any worth buying? So let's find out. But we're starting off with some recordings of the AliExpress and Capture. So the weird thing is that I cannot get into the menu itself. And I mean pressing A, B and Start, that doesn't work with mine. Maybe there's something wrong with the chip or it doesn't implement for this particular model. But the same output is 720p. There is nothing we can adjust from this point. And this is the overall quality. It will be interesting to see if you're going to be comparing this with different models that I've reviewed here on the channel. But for now, the image quality, it's not super bad. And it's quite enjoyable this way.
stupid logo. Yeah, that's better. You can get it. Okay, we're having the AliExpress plug and play solution that looks decent. So, but how about if you're going to be comparing this with the Ultra HDMI, the very expensive solution that is not for everyone, but we have a massive difference in the price. Which one should you pick up and what is the overall quality difference? Well, when you're looking at the side by side comparison, yeah, both of them will be on the widescreen. And if you're going to be switching from AliExpress one to the Ultra HDMI one, yeah, there is some difference. But I think you're going to be looking at this and you're going to be putting them side by side. You're going to be noticing differences, particularly when it comes to the sharpness, the way how colorful the right one or the Ultra HDMI solution is. So where the Ultra HDMI solution has a lot of tweaking options, yeah, let's be honest. When you're looking at both of the solutions, the AliExpress is not too bad, actually, if you're looking at the price point you're paying for this modification. And also we're going to be comparing it with the Ultra HDMI. The Ultra HDMI is just a winner when it comes so far for testing it side by side. But audio wise, there I also noticed a different beginning of the Duke Nukem where he's making his all famous quote. Who's alien scum are gonna pay for shooting up my ride? Who's alien scum are gonna pay for shooting up my ride? So first of all, this is not for everyone I already mentioned before, because this is a device that you need to do some soldering to, or maybe you can find somebody who can do it. I just picked it up like as it is, simply because I don't want to do all the soldering and all the mumbo jumbo with it. And that is one of the things that basically holds me back, where the chip itself is very cheap to buy, compare this with an N64 you have been laying around, you will have like a very easy HDMI plug and play solution. But will this comparable with the other devices, an ultimate solution, budget solution? Yeah, that's something you need to decide because the quality wise, it will not become, let's say, significantly better. And emulation, it may be even a better solution for more quality ones. But this is more like getting the authentic N64 with an easy plug and play basic solution for a little bit less money. Thank you all for watching and it will be great to see you in the next video. Mm.